Mike Smith now joined by former Highland Community College linebacker, now at the University of New Mexico, Rico Hanna, and this year's Scotty Sports Awards Adversity Award winner. Rico, thanks for taking the time to uh, you know, chat with us. Uh, yes, sir. Rico getting honored with the uh, Adversity Award, of course, uh, here this year at Scotty Sports Awards. And uh, Rico, you know, looking back at, at your life and, and how you've gotten to the point where you are now playing Division One football and the opportunity that uh, you got by playing at Highland Community College, you know, looking back over your, the course of your life and, and the adversity that I know that you had, uh, you know, growing up and, and the different particular situations and, and such, but how did uh, that kind of help mold you and, and get you to the opportunity that you have now at uh, New Mexico and, and of course the opportunity at Highland Community College as well uh yeah well you know well starting uh, starting out you know my life well I ain't gonna say it was rough but you know it was pretty rough to begin with you know my uncle really got me started playing football so you know it really it all started with him I, being in high school I didn't really have any I didn't have any D1 offers or anything like that so you know I took the JUCO route went to Highland you know my first year there it wasn't really that good my freshman year so you know I had to have emergency surgery uh, my first year there it was sometime around September. I remember. I remember it clear as day, around September, and it was like uh, in the middle of the night. You know, woke up with an aching pain in my stomach. I could I couldn't move or anything like that. So, you know, I called my mom. I called my mom. Said something was wrong with me, and she said, you know, just go to the go to the hospital or call an ambulance. So I just drove myself to the hospital, which was a bad idea. Couldn't really move my body, and I was I was just so fatigued that I felt like I was gonna just pass out. It really wasn't a good idea for me to just take myself to the hospital but yeah it was, it was pretty hard my first year at uh, Highland but you know I just overcame it you know my, my friends my family backed me up and it just they just gave me support and that's that's, that's all I needed to, uh, to move on with uh, my life and football. Of course, you talk about that adversity there your freshman year at Highland, and then and the next two years uh, you you kind of balled out uh, on the football field, which we'll talk about in a moment. But what was it like, uh, you know, to to be that far away from home and and realize that you know you you had to battle through obviously the the adversity there, and then have surgery, and uh, how did that kind of uh, you know help you along as a person? You know, being away from being away from home, you know, it really makes you grow up a lot. You know, that's what my uncle told me whenever I got out there. He's at Rico. Whenever you move out there, you know. You get got a lot of grown up to do, and I was like, "Yes, sir, you're right." You know, being out there it really helped me grow up a lot. You know, mature as a person, and going through that adversity, it also made me mature. It made me more humble and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, it was really, it was really nice for me to be like, be that far away from home. You know. You developed into a, a great leader for this Highland football program over your time as well, in my opinion, and, and in several other people's opinion as well. And uh, what was it like, uh, you know, to put on that Scotty uniform and, and perform with your, you know, your friends and and uh, and guys that you consider brothers now uh, over these last couple of years? Fine, man. We always had a we always had a blast playing with each other. You know, I mean that that's your friend, that's your brother. You know, you always you always have fun playing with them. You know, that's something you will never forget. You know. Whenever time starts rolling by, you'll never forget that. Playing with them, playing with your brothers, playing with your friends, stuff like that, you know. You'll never forget it, you know. You've helped kind of also, you know, with uh, with you and, and these uh, last couple classes under Coach Arnold, helped uh, establish more of a winning tradition uh, for Highland. And, and you yourself obviously earned a lot of accolades, all-conference, uh, all-American honors, obviously, this past season for your sophomore campaign and finished with 153 total tackles, which is fourth all-time in school history. And uh, what was it like to to be able to you know, have some of those individual accomplishments for yourself? It felt good, but you know I'm I'm a humble person. You know I'm not really going to talk about myself a lot. I'm I'm more of a team player. You know I'm not really going to talk about myself, not my achievements. I rather talk about the team's achievements and my achievements. We got a re- winning record. You know I put that on the team. You know I don't put that on myself or anything like that. You know. Of course, and uh, you had uh, several different uh, you know, highlight plays. Uh, one that I'll never forget is obviously your 100-yard pick six. Uh, anything that stands out to you uh, as a Scotty that you'll remember uh, as a highlight play individually or a moment uh, you know, with your teammates that you had? Uh, yeah, I, I remember our first game, Fort Scott game. So it was pretty good. We were just having it pretty bad, especially with the heat and stuff. And the one thing I remember is the offense stepping up. You know, that's something I'll always remember. You know, that was a big, that was a big game changer right there, you know. Like I said, I'm not like I'm not an individual person. I humble myself. I don't like being individual. Like my individual accomplishments or anything. Like it was all like I just like team stuff. Looking at uh, the coaching staff, uh, you know, how close were you with uh, Coach Arnold and, and the rest of the crew, and how big of an impact did they uh, have in your life? Oh man, you know, I'm, I'm close with all of them, man. You know, all of them had a big impact on my life. Coach Arnold, he, you know, he really believed in me. He just told me to step up as a leader and stuff like that. You know, and that, that really helped me out a lot, especially at this level. You know, people. People look up to you a lot, so you know, you know, just be a leader out there, and the rest of the coaching staff too, especially Coach Mo for getting me out there, recruiting me. I really thank him for that. You know, he gave me an opportunity to 
to ball out and go D1, you know? So I really thank him for that. You mentioned, obviously, not having many opportunities to go to the D1 level coming out of high school and now, obviously, achieving that dream at New Mexico. And uh, what was it like, you know, when you realized you would have the opportunity to, uh, you know, continue to play football and at the, you know, the Division One level? I felt great. You know, I was really, you know, really thinking about it a lot. So I was like, ah, oh, you get all these Division One offers. It's like, oh, man, you know, this is just really happening. You know, the dream comes true to play at this Division One level, you know. You know, you just showcase your talent at that level. So, so, you know, so everybody can see all the hard work you put in, all that, you know, all the years of adversity, you know, and you just showcase it and just go, and just go hard every play, you know. When, when looking back at, you know, at uh, you know, how things have developed for you over the course of your life and, and the adversity that you have faced, obviously, to get to, to this point, was there any kind of moments where, you know, you, you kind of felt like that adversity might be, uh, you know, get the better of you? Or, or were you able to kind of maybe persevere and, and use that adversity to, to help push along? No, I'm, I'm I'm more of a guy that's resilient, you know. I, I like I like adversity, you know. It makes me it makes me push harder, you know. Just a set, just a setback for a major comeback, you know. No doubt, of course, Enrico, you've been able to uh, achieve many great things. Uh, you know, hopefully, some more coming up for you at uh, New Mexico. And I'll let you ha- out of here on this one. Looking back to your time as a uh, you know Highland Scotty, what uh, you know what's going to stand out to you? What will you tell people about uh, Highland Community College and your time uh, there? Uh, well, you know, I mean, a bunch of people from my hometown and stuff like that are going to Highland. So, you know, I guess, you know, I made a big impact on Highland. You know, I I post about Highland. I talk about Highland. I wear Highland everywhere I go. And people are like, oh, Rico, you, 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 go, you go to Highland? I'm like, yeah, you know. And I tell people about Highland, you know. And people ask, you know, is Highland a good, you know, program? I was like, yeah, man, you go out there and show, okay, like, just work, you know. Work, keep your grades right, and you'll, you'll make it. Coaches will help you, you know what I mean? Go out there and do you, you know. Rico, it's a pleasure uh, getting to know you these last couple of years, man. I want to wish you best of luck at New Mexico and, and with the rest of your uh, future. And, uh, you know, uh, thanks for taking the time to chat with me, man. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you all. Rico Hanna, of course, former Highland Community College football player, now at the University of New Mexico, continuing on his football career.